In this lesson, we will discuss the effects of changes in demand for labor and supply of labor on wage level. In the previous lesson, we have seen that there are two types of changes in demand for labor. One is due to wage level and second is other than wage level, like change in population. Similarly, we have seen that changes in supply of labor are either due to wages or due to some other factors like change in production. Now, if these changes occur, which are other than the wage level, then the whole demand curve and supply curve leave its place and it, it will either shift towards right side or towards left side. And due to these shifts, the equilibrium in the labor market uh, will be affected and it will affect the equilibrium wage level. In this diagram, we can see the movement of the demand for labor curve. There are certain factors which shift the whole demand for labor curve towards right side or towards left side. For example, production. If there is increase in production, mean more goods and services are required in the country, then the more goods will be produced. So production will increase. So when there is increase in production, demand for labor curve will shift towards right and when there is decrease in production demand for labor curve will shift towards left in this diagram we can see the shift in the supply of labor curve and we can notice that supply curve is shifting towards right side or left side this movement of supply of labor curve is not due to change in the wage level Rather, it is due to the other factors like increase in population. If more people come in the country or in the market, supply of labor will increase. And if people leave the market or leave the country, the supply of labor will shift towards left. Here I have drawn the equilibrium in the labor market. This is the equilibrium point E1. And here we have the equilibrium wage level and here we have level of employment, equilibrium level of employment. So this is equilibrium wage level and this is equilibrium level of employment in the market this is nd and this is ns now in this diagram i am going to explain how the shift in demand for labor and supply of labor will affect the market wage level for example there is increase in production in the country due to increase in demand for goods and services as a result the demand for labor curve will shift upward and we reach to the new demand curve which is nd1 you can notice that equilibrium point is e1 at this equilibrium point there is increase in the wage level right so as there is increase in the level of employment from n to n1 so whenever there is shift in the demand for labor towards right the wages will increase and if there is shift in demand for labor towards left, new equilibrium is at E2. Sorry, this is E2, this is E3. And 
right so make it w1 w2 n1 and n2 because with e2 we have n2 and w2 with e1 we have w1 and n1 so when the equilibrium is e3 we have the lower wages which is w3 so there is decrease in wage level and lower is the employment level so employment will also decrease so any movement in demand for labor curve towards right and left will shift the uh, wage level accordingly whenever there is in if there is no change in supply of labor and with the increase in demand for labor the real wages will increase and with the decrease in uh, demand for labor the real wages will uh, decrease Knowing this diagram, we will see if there is no change in demand for labor, but there is change in the supply of labor. Suppose there is an increase in the population in the country and more people come in the market. As a result, the supply of labor curve will shift towards right from NS to NS1. And the new equilibrium point is here, which is E2 due to increase in supply of labor the wages will decrease and employment will level will shift to n2 this increase in the level of employment but the wages will decrease If people leave the country or leave the market, supply of labor curve will shift towards left. And uh, new equilibrium point is at E3. As a result, the level of employment will decrease and wages will increase. So then there is shortage of labor the wage level will increase. Okay. If there is any change in wage level, the labor demand for labor and supply of labor curve will not shift. But if there is any change in the shift factors, like for demand for labor, there is increase in demand for goods and services. So the businesses and the firms will start producing more so they need more labor. In that case, even at the same wage level, the demand for labor will increase. Similarly, if there is increase in the population of the population in the country, so more people come inside the country or in the market. So the supply of labor curve will shift towards right. And this increase in supply of labor is not due to wages. It is due to the non-wage factors and whenever there is change in demand for labor and supply of labor or the shift in the demand for labor and supply of labor it will affect the equilibrium wage level that's all in this lesson thank you very much